Welcome back to another episode of Quick Stop Photoshop where I cover photography tips in five minutes or less. If you haven't heard, Adobe just released Photoshop 2020 with really exciting improvements on a lot of tools that we know and love. One of these tools, the Transform tool, had a huge facelift. In my landscape photography, Photoshop's Transform tool is very important. So when I shoot with a wide angle lens, which I do a lot, especially with mountainous scenes, you'll notice when you look at the camera or the photo on the back of your camera, those mountains that look so grand in front of you all of a sudden appear very small. So when I get back into Photoshop, I can use this transform tool to bring some scale and size back to those mountains. Also, let's say you're shooting a stream and it comes almost to the corner of your frame, but just for some reason you can't get it to work in camera. Once again, back in Photoshop, with the transform tool, you can pull that stream to the corner of your frame or make any minor adjustments to your composition to make it a little bit more how you may have envisioned. So let's jump right into it. We're working on a raw photograph here. This is a image of Kirchjefell in Iceland from my last uh, visit to this beautiful country. And I'm using this image because Kirchjefell is nice and prominent and we can use that transform tool to kind of make some modifications to it. In this case, it looks pretty good, but let's see if we can exaggerate it a bit. So the transform tool we need to use on a merge visible layer. You can use the hotkeys for this, which is a uh, shift option command E on a Mac or shift alt control E on a PC. So we're going to use the hotkey of command T or control T to get to transform. You can also do this by going up to image and then dropping down to transform in warp. So here's our transform tool. From the original, the home page of the transform tool, we can change the size of our image. If we hold down shift, we can stretch the image out both vertically or horizontally. These haven't changed since the original transform tool in Photoshop 2019 and earlier. However, let's go to warp here. So now the first thing we see when we click the warp button here is there's no longer a 3x3 three three grid that we were used to in the original version. It is now just a square and we can still yank around and pull this image in different directions. But let's go up to the grid here. So we can go to our 3x3 three three, but now we also have the option to go to a 4x4 four four or a 5x5 five five to get that higher resolution of control in warping our image. So now we have these smaller boxes so we can target a smaller location on the image, which is very cool. Another update is we can now command Z more than just one step while working in the transform tool. We can go back multiple steps. So let's go to a grid of three by three, the original one. This works just as it did before, but check this out. We have this split tool up here where we can now do crosshairs, a horizontal split, or a vertical split. Sorry, I had those backwards. So you click on this horizontal split and we can split anywhere in the image here. Let's just say we click here and now we have some additional control and some additional levers to kind of twist and turn and stretch and compress our image. The same goes for the vertical tool as well, but you can do it in the vertical direction. But let's focus on this crosshair here. This is very cool. So we can click on this crosshair and anywhere in the image we can add an additional square here. Let's put it on the mountain here where I want it to do some transforming here. So I click right there. Now we have additional uh, both horizontal and vertical little uh, pull and push points or control points. And now I can stretch this mountain down a bit. Then I can stretch it up. I mean we can get really exaggerated with this. Then we can make it a little bit bigger in this direction and a little bit bigger in this direction. So we now have additional control. Now if we hold Alt or option, we can add additional crosshairs anywhere on the image to make this grid even finer. That is a very brief update of the transform tool. A lot more control, higher resolution grids, as well as the option to make customizable grids to get even smaller control or a control over a smaller area of a photograph. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're feeling generous. Hit the like button as well. I've got a lot more videos coming up. I'll see you next time.